Welcome back. I'm Nate Moore, and we're going to learn more about pivot tables today. Today, we're going to look at the other filtering option that's new in Excel 2007. We can drag this out so there's plenty of room to see. Value filters. That's what we're going to focus on today. We're going to look at the value filters option. And whereas in the last video, we talked about label filters that looked at the labels attached to the data, this time we're going to look at the actual numbers, and that's where the, the filtering is applied. So what we have here is a list. Let me just back up for a minute so you can see. Here's referring physicians, and they go down for a little ways. And we have it by year. And let's assume what we want to know is, you know, I've got a lot of referring physicians in here. I want to know how many referring physicians have sent me more than 140 patients in the past three years. With the drop-down arrow, we're going to go to value filters, and I want to know greater than 140. There we have it. And the very same thing, it keeps shrinking on me. Value filters, let's clear it. And then we're going to look at value filters and less than, say, 130. There's the patients, or the referring physicians that have sent me less than 130 patients over the course of the past three years. Quick and easy way to look at the values and you can again filter equals greater than less than between how many sent me between 130 and 40 all those uh, calculations are very easy to do with this new value setting in Excel let's let's change things around a bit and move years out and let's look at insurance and let's say you know I want to know who sent me the most Medicare patients. Now the trick that you've got to notice here is look right here. You see there's still the filter symbol there, so I'm still looking at referring physicians who sent me less than 130 patients in the past three years. So what we're going to do is clear that off, and now I've got everybody. I've got my 2,541 that we're used to seeing. And now let's assume that I want to know who are my major Medicare referrers in these three years. So what we're going to do is, we're, first thing we're going to do is we're going to come up here and say, no, I'm only going to look at Medicare. And then let's drag this out and say, I want to look value filters. You can come down here and do top 10. And what top 10 does is allows you, by referring physician, you can take the top or the bottom. And you're not limited to 10. So I'm going to say, I want to know who my top five uh, referring physicians are by count of patient. We can look at the five largest or the, let's look at, let's start with five largest and I'll show you a percent in just a minute. So if we do the top five by count of patient, that's that's the only field in the pivot table right now I can look at. So that's what we're going to do. There are the top five Medicare referring physicians for those three years. And make this big again so you can follow along. We're going to take that off and let's assume that I'm interested in what, what, who is sending me the top 20 percent of Medicare patients again we're gonna go to value filters we'll go to top 10 and I want top 20 percent by count of patient and so there's the 300 and if we undo you can see of the 1181 patient, Medicare patients that were sent during the three-year period redo. Th here are the big four that represent 300 of that 1181. Again, a fast and easy way to filter data, this time based on values. I hope you found that helpful. Stay tuned. We'll talk more about pivot tables next time. Thanks for watching.